Hello everyone, welcome to Old School Chemistry. We're going to do an Alex topic, that is numbering the main chain of branched alkanes. I have a list of three steps for you. Number one, you have to identify the longest continuous chain of carbons. Now remember, this doesn't have to be straight, it doesn't have to be linear, they can be branched. It just has to be continuous carbon, carbon, carbon bonded to one another. Second, we're going to identify the substituents. What are attached, the different um, carbons, uh, carbon groups that are attached to that chain. And then number three, we number them. You can either number it left to right or right to left. The deciding factor is the smallest sum of the substituent locations is the way that you number that branched chain. So let's jump in and do this. Uh, oh, and let me show you on this Alex topic they will um, say locant of highlighted side chain. Uh, so they want us to give the address in essence. They want to, us to give uh, the location, the number of where the highlighted substituent, uh, what carbon that's attached to. Okay, first thing we have to do, find that longest chain. So we could go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So I can see that three, or excuse me, <laughs> four is going to be our longest continuous chain. Um, now I'm going to circle my substituents. So four is the longest. My brain, it just works a little bit easier if the longest chain, if it's straight, if that's an option, I always choose that one. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four. Let's identify the substituents. I have the two methyl groups. Okay, now we have to number it, and we have two choices. We can go left to right, which would be one, two, three, four. Um, if we do that, the two methyl groups are on the three plus the three carbon, would give me a sum of six for their locations. Well, let's switch it. Let's go right to left. We're going to have one, two, three, four. Well, these two methyl groups are both on the two carbon. So two plus two, their locations equals four. The smallest sum is right to left, the two, the two and the two. So here, for this answer, all I would have to type in is the number two. That's all I have to type in. Now, for those of you who have already learned how to name, this would be called 2,2-dimethyl-butane. Uh, I said the location of both the substituents because they're the same substituent, I had to add the word di to it for dimethyl, and then our longest chain was four. That's but, all single bonds, ain, butane. Problems that will be tricky. There will be some tricky problems that just by looking at it, you think, oh, this is going to give me the small sum, and it doesn't. So make sure that you take the time to identify the longest chain, add the sums, and then you'll be able to know, do you number left to right or right to left? Always take the time to do that. Okay. This one. So my options for the longest chain, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, oh, and a little side note. So when they give you the highlighted red, make sure that that's not part of the parent chain. They're telling you, hey, that's a substituent. So I'm sorry, we wouldn't number this one, two, three, because they're saying that's a substituent. I could have one, two, three, one, two, three. Shortest chain, or excuse me, longest continuous chain is going to be three. I'm going to go ahead and use my straight chain here in the middle, just easier for my brain. My uh, substituents are here and here. We've got two methyl groups that are attached to that longest chain. Uh, well, interesting on this one. It doesn't matter if you number left to right, one, two, three, or right to left, you get the same sum. I'm going to get a two, oops, excuse me, a two plus two, two plus two equals four, if I go left to right, and I get a two plus two equals four if we go left to right. It doesn't matter. We're going to have our substituents at the number two carbon, the two location. Uh, so this would be a two, two dimethyl propane. Nice, and then my answer here, I would simply put a two. I put a two right there, okay? Well done, so proud of you learning chemistry. It will make a difference in your life, I promise. <laughs> Good job working hard. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.